Hey everyone, Aaron here, and I've got another review for you. Today we have a brand new offering from Allen. Uh, this is their new classic readers, uh, the English Standard Version, uh, but this one is designated the NC2, as it has a Mariva calfskin cover, rather than what's on their other line of the NC1, which is their Highland goat skin. These do come in a really nice two-piece box. Uh, you can see here the Allen ESV NC2 Black. Uh, this one is the silver line, uh, so you have silver page edges uh, with blue underneath. And this is just the, the two-piece box that they come in. So I do have one of their goatskin silver line editions that they did. It's a first edition that was printed uh, by Youngblood and bound by Charfleet. I'll add some photos at the end of this video, um, and I'll also add some just comparison uh, in the at the end of this video as well, just so you can kind of see the, the differences in the grain of the covers and just some of the other features that are a little bit different in this printing uh, versus the, the first edition uh, silver line goat skin uh, from the NC1 series. Uh, so just some of the features on this one. Again, this is the black Mariva goat skin. Uh, these do not have perimeter stitching, uh, which is not something that Allen offers, but I do wish that they would add. One thing that you'll see here is they have the doubled tooled lines. Uh, so you have one on the outer edge and then one on the inner, one on the inside uh, that meets up with where the text block uh, meets with the cover on the inside. Uh, so that double tool line is really nice. Uh, again, these are bound by Youngblood, and these are printed by Youngblood as well, uh, which is a little bit different than their NC1s, uh, which are printed by Youngblood, but bound by Charfleet. Um, so you also see with these, which is uh, the same on their, their NC1s, uh, you do have tooled ribs, and then you have Holy Bible, English Standard Version, and Allen, all stamped in silver, uh, which is because it's the silver line. Uh, so all of your features are going to be blue with silver on this edition. The inner liner is a blue leather liner as well. And you have, again, the silver uh, gilt line with Mariva calfskin noted here. And these are an edge, these are edge lined. And then you have in the back here on the inside cover the Allen binding by Royal Youngblood. You do have three silver ribbons on these. And then, again, like I said, you have the, the blue underneath the silver page edges, which is actually my favorite cover, my favorite color combination uh, with the black goat skin and then blue underneath silver. So I'm really excited about these additions. Uh, some of the features of the inside, uh, these are the same text blocks as what they have in the NC1. Uh, so what they're currently printing is the 2016 ESV text. And then you have uh, printed in the Netherlands by Royal Youngblood which again is the same as what you have um, with the current printings of the NC1. Uh, these are a double column uh, paragraph with center column references. Uh, these are a black letter text as well, so all of the words of Christ are in black. It's printed on 36 GSM paper, uh, which is just excellent paper. It's really easy to grab the page and turn just individually. You don't feel like you're grabbing multiple pages, but it is easy to grab just one page and turn. And it's also a nice thickness for note taking or writing um, or for just for reading. You can see a little bit here uh, where the, the references show through. Um, it is very, very clear, very clean. Uh, on these editions with how thick the paper is. Uh, so just overall great paper for note taking. Um, also really good for reading, but not so thick that you have a really thick Bible. And these Bibles are printed uh, with 10 point font. One of the great features of Allen Bibles is in the back and they have this lined paper, uh, which is great for, for preachers or anybody that has uh, go-to messages that they need to access on a regular basis, but you don't want to add in uh, note paper or just have it stuffed in the back. Uh, these are the fixed in. They also have the, the blue under silver, uh, so they just it looks like it's just part of the Bible, and you can add your notes, add your sermons in for, for weddings, uh, funerals, anything that you need to have on a, 
on a regular basis that you need to access quickly. You can just have those notes right there in the back of your Bible, and you just always have those as a go-to. These editions are fairly thin and fairly portable. Uh, this, is, this one is about one and three-eighths inch thick uh, by six and a half by nine and a half. And I did want to show some comparisons um, of the black goat skin. And so both Bibles actually come in a similar box, so I'm not going to show the box. Um, but what we have here on the right is the, the first edition in black Highland goat skin. You can see that it does not have Holy Bible on the front uh, like the NC2 does. You'll also notice that um, the NC1 which again is the goat skin. It's got the deeper grain. Uh, it is a little bit thinner, uh, but they're actually on the same paper. Uh, but the NC1 has fewer maps, and the cardstock is a little bit thinner, and the uh, note, note paper at the back of the Bible is, uh, is thinner paper as well on the NC1. So that's what gives the NC1, this edition, a little bit of a thinner profile. Uh, some of the older bindings that are from Chant are on different paper. That's not the that's not the case with these, as they are on the same paper. Uh, just some of the other things, like the cardstock, the note paper, and the maps. There's fewer maps in this edition. Uh, help give it a little bit of a thinner profile in the NC1 that I have here. And so this thickness on the NC1 is about one and a quarter inches versus the one and three eighths inch. Some of the biggest differences that you'll notice right off the back is the grain. And I'll bring this up here a little bit closer you can see. And I'll add some more detailed pictures as well just to make it a little bit clear um, so it's not moving around. And you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Uh, but you can see this nice grain on the goat skin. Very, very smooth calf skin. Uh, on the goat skin, you just have the one tool line. And again, on the calf skin, you have the two tool lines. Also, want to just take a minute to, to show some of the corner work. Um, this is on the calf skin. And this is some of the work that uh, is done by Youngblood. Uh, really well done. Um, you can see just a little bit of inconsistencies there, uh, but overall, overall, it's really well done. And then the corners on the goat skin. Some people have some issues uh, with uh, Charfleet. Um, some of their early editions weren't the best, um, but they've got, gradually gotten a lot better. And this is a really good example. Some of the corners are, are pretty well done, uh, but not the best, but they're gonna hold they're gonna hold together fairly well. Uh, I do again wish they added perimeter stitching, but unfortunately that's not something that they offer. But that is my review of the brand new Allen ESV NC2. Thanks for watching.